Our research in the combat of the Vikings is to try to understand how they use their weapons based on many different sources. But our research here today is trying to figure out how it was that the settlers here in Iceland made iron. Because we know it was different than in Norway and other Scandinavian countries. And no one seems to know how they really did it. It hasn't been made here in many centuries. Það hefur lengi verið vitað að á fyrstu öldum Íslandsbyggðar var hér umfangt mikil járgerð úr Mýrarauða og hefur það verið staðfest með fornlefarannsóknum. Eins var hafa menn ekki verið vissur um eða hvernig nákvæmlega járnið var unnið. Þetta er svona tilrauna fornlefarfræði hátíð þannig að við erum að gera alls konar hluti sem að við teljum að hafi verið gerðir á einhvern tiltekinn hátt í fornöld og erum í raun að vera bara að prófa hvað mögulega hafi verið gerst. Við erum með okkur fornlefafræðinga og búin að kafa djúft í alls konar fræði til þess að geta í raun að vera gert rannsókis. Þannig að það er verið að gera tilraunir sem eru byggðar á hvað er með þekkingu sem eftir stað? Já, við erum til dæmis með fornlefafræðinga sem eru búin að vera að grafa upp fornminni að tengt játtgerð og þeir hafa sagt bara af og á, nei þetta getur ekki verið og þetta er líklega og við erum til dæmis bara að reyna að finna út it is a combination of coals and iron ore, the red earth dug up from the earth. And the ore that we are using today came from Skagafjörður. We've already analyzed the ore and it's more than 90% iron just to begin with. So it's excellent iron. We have a rough idea of how it was done from the archaeology, but there's some secret details that are really misunderstood or lost. They're really lost. And one of the big differences seems to be the clay available here in Iceland. The clay in Iceland melts at too low a temperature for these ovens to work. And so we've been trying many different things. We've been doing research. We've been doing analyses of different kinds of materials that would have been available here in Iceland during the settlement. And we think we have an answer today. What is the answer? The answer is ash, burnt ash made from horse manure. And that seems to raise the temperature of the clay enough to allow it to survive. So it is 200 degrees higher, and so that seems to be good enough. We are going to be 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 going to og endanum fundum við galdra efni sem er hrossaskýtur. Það virðist vera að koncentrera því því kísill sem að hækkar bræstu hittastíðið á íslenska leitlum. I'm sure that when the settlers arrived here, they needed to make iron for their tools, for their weapons, for everything. And so it didn't work. And Lannamavok tells us that the the first person to make iron in the, Vic in the settlement was actually someone who came later. So it meant that the first settlers probably couldn't figure out how to make it, and it was only later they figured it out. So I'm sure they tried everything. So ash from burnt grasses maybe, burnt this, and horse manure is the obvious choice because it's used for so many things back then. Because it's such a structural property, maybe they thought to try it. En í íslensku ofnunum var leirinn ekki eina ráefnið. The ovens in Denmark and, and mostly in Norway were made out of clay entirely. But here in Iceland, the archaeological research tells us that turf was used. Turf was an important ingredient. Það hefur verið búið til gríðalega mikið játn og, og mörgum stöðum á landinu og við verðum að fá að vita hvernig þetta var gert. Það er ekki nóg bara að finna einhverja öskurhúur og við það svo ekki neitt meira. Og, þú veist, þetta er bara almenn forvitni. En hvers verði og hvað þingu hefur það já, að halda svona hátíð og, og gera þessar rannsóknir hér á veðistur? Sko, Eiríksstæð er náttúrulega vakka tilraunafortilega fræði getum við sagt vegna þess að hér er hérna, búið að grafið fornminjar og síðan er skáldað hús út frá því hvað finnst og hvað við vitum. Og í raun að veru, þó að það finnist ekki nema undirstöður og þá tókst að byggja heilan bæði sem er svona tiltölulega líklegt að sé svona original víkingabær. En svona heilt yfir þá er hátíðin líka bara fjölbreytan en þetta því að við erum að baka brauð upp á víkingamáta, það er mjög strang hvað má nota í þau og glerperlur, vattasaum og svo framvegis, alls konar handverk sem að tengist víkingatímaðum. Today we're working on a viking style axe, a slightly smaller one for demonstration purposes and we're using authentic techniques 
maybe not exactly the same ones that Vikings would have used, but were using techniques they would instantly recognize. Axe making was a very common activity for Vikings. They're very common in museums, and where you can sometimes see their techniques pretty precisely is if they broke a certain way. If the weld wasn't good, it'll show you a lot about how the axes were put together. And in the Viking era, they would have forged out a bar of metal that had the back of the axe in this position, the cheeks of the axe in this position, and these two pieces here, when this is folded over, they become the blade. They become one piece by a process known as forge welding. Today they are making uh, iron out of uh, red ore. Have you used uh, that kind of iron? I have on a few occasions. It can be very beautiful thing to work with. It has a very lively character inside of it. It has a grain like wood, and you can see it during the entire process of working with it. Uh, it also makes it a little bit softer. Uh, the iron is very low carbon, and the slag within it, there's some slag in it, makes the iron slip a little bit at high temperatures, and it can be worked much more easily. I think this is probably the first iron made in Iceland with Icelandic materials in many centuries. So we're very yeah. happy with yeah, this, yeah. this result. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Happy day. <laughs> uh, now that you have found out how, how they did it, uh, what's next? So uh, I do not know what's next. I think we are going to do more research, and we are just delighted to be here doing these experiments, happy to be working with the archaeologists who are uncovering these finds in Iceland, trying to learn more.